Yeah. <laughs> I looked over. <laughs> I, I did an interview with Zhao, and it looks like he's three times my size. Yeah. I don't know how it's that even possible. <coughs> big, I saw him over here. Big. But isn't he like I four times your size? I think so too. <laughs> so you must be getting bigger. <laughs> <laughs> the stretchy exercise finally be working. Yeah. <laughs> like in the morning I came myself. I just. Yeah. <laughs> Sleep like a bat, eh? Hang from your feet. <laughs> yeah. Just blood rushes in running. my head. And yeah. I heard you were bungee jumping like three times a week in Latvia too. Yeah. 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 But it, it's 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 not a rubber band. <laughs> He was he was six feet and then he hit the ground once. And yeah. Yeah, I, I almost made it. Oh, now he's back to this. <laughs> now he's back to four two. Uh, maybe one time we'll bring you back from our club. You'll look like a tall guy. Yeah, Cody. Yeah. I don't think we would take Cody for that long. No, we no, wouldn't. No, we, we wouldn't be able to handle it. <laughs> You'd have to come to Canada. Soon. I'll leave all this in. I'm sorry, Cody. Oh, you're recording already. Sorry. Of course, yeah. 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 Hey, <laughs> Cody, you're a bitch. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> what? I'm here with Matt Mask. Uh, the Wild Horse. <laughs> I don't know. It just sounded cool in my head. <laughs> okay. Um, what are you doing in the You got the quite the view here in this room, eh? You don't have the view? You have it not view? as not as nice as your view. Well, no, I get to see more of the industrial shit on the other side over there. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, today is rainy for some reason. So it's gonna stop soon. Yeah, it's gonna stop. You ordered? You're like, hey, can we? Yeah, no, yeah. I checked the weather network. I have interviews till like ten ten, and then that's it. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Then we're going to the the Grand Bazaar. Is that where we're going? Grand yeah. Bazaar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just uh, I just saw you in in Dubai. Uh, that was like fucking ages ago, eh? Five weeks, but okay. Yeah, five, six weeks. <laughs> um, in Canadian years, it's ages ago. <laughs> yeah. uh, how do you feel about your performance versus Run Bad? Uh, I'm, I'm not really chalking that one up as a performance or where I stand or anything else. I think, uh, I think there was a lot of things that played a factor into that. Maybe Ron's age is starting to catch up to him. Maybe the jet lag. A little bit else, so it's kind of hard to say exactly where I feel I am right now. I think I think in two days from now we'll find out exactly where I'm at. So how, how did you how did you feel? You feel fresh? I feel focused. Like then or now? Then 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 I felt I felt good. I was worried about uh, my brachialis, the kind of shape that it was in going into the match. So I was never really had a chance to lift hard or pull really hard leading up to it. I was just trying to recover from the match I had with Kalashenko. So I didn't really know what I was or how I felt going into the match. So it was, uh, it was kind of more, let's see how this goes kind of deal. So, <laughs> yeah, it, it went all right. So went for me anyways, not for Ron, but yeah, yeah, well. I love you, Ron. Uh, and today you're taking on another today? Italian. We're no, doing sorry. it today. Not, not today. We're but doing it today. Fine. Here in Istanbul on Saturday, you're taking on another Italian, Frank Lamparelli. Frankie Lamparelli. Yeah. The number two Italiano. Yeah. Eh? How much you know about him? Did you watch? Nah, fuck all. You didn't watch the videos? I there's like three fucking videos out there of him, so it's kind of hard to, kind of hard to really do the homework when there ain't a whole lot of fucking. Yeah. You still would. A lot do of material what, to go what, off what of. What you always do best, right? Uh, I'm just gonna yeah. Like I got an idea. I know, I know his game. I know his style. He's a top roller. I know where he's gonna go, and that ain't gonna be inside. So it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty much, uh, we're going to find out who has the better hand and who has the better top roll out of the two, I guess. That's what I'm thinking. I saw your card yesterday while you were signing and it said inside 7.5. That's pretty good, eh? That's pretty good, right? <laughs> Suppressed. <laughs> you should, Let's say I got some big shoes to if, fill. <laughs> if, you have, if you have a chance, you should always sneak in a little bit of a hook. Just, just, right? yeah. just, just, just enough to slowly get just, it up. Like, just maybe get it up to 7.7. 7. Yeah. <laughs> 7. You're like, hey! Yeah. <laughs> no. But that's good. Um, you had breakfast with Devin. Mm -hmm. um, how do you feel about Devin's chances in, uh, versus Dennis? I yeah, think Devin has right? really good chance. You yeah. saw Dennis, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's he's there starting to look back in shape again, yeah. eh? Yeah, it's fucking crazy to think a man can get arms that fucking big, eh? 
Like fingers like this. Yeah. Insane. Fuck. His old lady must hate him. So, <laughs> how do you feel about him and Devin? I think Devin's gonna win. Easy. I think he is. I don't think it's gonna be easy. I don't think anybody can beat Dennis easily. So, I I, I worry for Devin with that sticky spot that Dennis has. Yeah, he's very very sticky in there. But uh, I think Devin's got way more angles, way more tools, way more abilities than what Dennis has. So Dennis's strength, I believe, is probably stronger than where Devin is right now. But I think Devin's going to out-angle the fuck out of Dennis, I think. So I don't think it's going to be easy. I think it'll be easier as the rounds go later on. But uh, I, I think Dennis may even take the first one. But I think once Devin gets his elbow popping around, surging, gets all that blood into them big massive fucking arms of his. I think if he can get him palm up, it's gonna be game over for Devin. For Dennis. For Dennis. And Devin. Devin will take the win. Hmm. That's my guesstimate. That's the big one. That's, That's the, the big, big one. one. That'll be the grand finale. Ugh. Hey? Yeah. Yeah. For uh, And then we need to get Devin a bulletproof vest after that and armored car will be here to take him to the airport. How many Canadians are here? Uh, Enough. Three in this room. Three in this room. Three in this room. <laughs> it's pretty good, right? Yeah, I like them odds. <laughs> yeah. you, you feel the tension? You, you talk with Devin. You feel the tension between him and Dennis. And There's no tension between him and Des Dennis. It's no zero tension between him and, and Dennis. Bobkin? I would say all the tensions between him and Bobkin. Yeah, Bobkin. Bobkin's uh, got all the sensitivity for Dennis. Mm. So, yeah. Now I'll have the hit on me next. <laughs> and you deserve it. We all know it. Yeah, I um, probably do. <laughs> uh, John is cutting down. You saw John versus Voivoda. Uh, insane performance. Now he's cutting down to 95 and he's going to face... Uh, Sasha. Sasha. Do you think John at 95 could beat Sasha at 95? I think John at 95 can beat anybody at 95 kilos if John shows up ready. Mm. I think John John's proven himself over and over and over and over again. And he didn't look like he was on point when he pulled Hutchins three, four months ago, but it looks like he's really kind of stepped it up a bit since then, since he pulled Viaboda. The only thing I fear for John in him winning his match is is Sasho's ability to be able to suck a guy inside, right? So and and John John's phenomenal everywhere on the table, but uh, I would say John's weakest spots where he's had is when someone has been able to get him inside or attack his inside game or attack his arm the way it is, right? So I think that that could be the downfall. Obviously, I'm cheering for John. I don't think John will let it go inside. I think John's going to have the capability with the fucking thickness of his fucking chicken wing thumb that he has. I think he's going to be able to peel that wrist wide open. But if he's not able to get Sasho's wrist in a negative position, I think it could be a very long day for John. I think if Sasho can keep, keep his wrist in a positive position, then I think we might end up seeing an inside match and bad day for John, good day for Sasho. Mm. But I don't think that's going to happen. So... I'm excited to see, right? It's a, yeah. it's a good match, and if John cut down to 95, I think he's he's motivated, right? He's well, he's he's ready, right? Yeah, for sure. John ain't John ain't cutting if he exactly. if he don't feel fucking yeah. ready. Yeah. So if he's if he's slightly second guessing himself, you ain't gonna see John cut and wait to try to pull somebody. So damn right, damn right. Uh, do you think uh, worst technician can do the against best technician? Good, Todd Hutching, so it's good to be <laughs> That one is fucking going to be interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing that one. I... Todd is fucking... Todd is just a fucking freak. Angabayev, though, man. That dude's a fucking black belt in fucking arm wrestling, I'd say. He's a fucking ninja, <laughs> right? There's, there's, there's black belts, there's third degree, then there's the fucking senseis, and I think fucking... I say Angabayev is like a sensei of arm wrestling. Mm. His ability. The dude makes up fucking moves on the table mid match, right? Yeah. Like, you know, so it's, yeah. Hard match for both? Yeah, I, I think it's going to be harder for Todd. Okay. I really think it's going to be harder for Todd because Todd, Todd, Todd is a beast, fucking immense fucking side pressure. You can see 
his wrist and his hand has really come leaps and bounds over the last couple of years. Being able, the way he was able to control John from preventing him from going inside and preventing him from going outside, just the, the ability to be able to control his hand. But I think, I I think it's going to be a tougher day for for Hutchins than it is going to be for Ungabayev. Just, mm. just the ability and the amount that Ungabayev can transition on that table from one position to another, and the fuck it splits of a second that he does. I think uh, I, I don't know if fucking Hutchins is going to be able to recover in time. I don't think he's going to be able to make the quick enough adjustments. It's unfortunately. It's. I think I'm cheering for Todd, of course. Of course. Team West all the way, yes. right? Yeah. yeah. Team West could do very good this time. I think. I, you know, I hope so. Right? Uh, with I hope all the so. things that happened in East West West Eight, right? That was a dark day in West history. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, it's looking pretty good. I'm excited for all the matches, uh, your match and all the other matches. I think it's me and Vanilla Ice. Start. Right. I fucking said I that. It yeah. I see Vanilla it. ice, you yeah. see it, yeah. right? Vanilla ice. Vanilla ice. It's okay, because he can't understand a fucking word we're saying anyways. His translator will fuck it up for him when he goes to translate it to him. So It is ice as baby. baby. <laughs> East versus West 10, live on pay-per-view. Matt Mask. Core Sports, get the app, buy the fucking pay-per-view. Watch this motherfucker fuck up Vanilla Ice.